We have been speaking on the end times and the terrible things that are waiting for those who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. And we have even studied the conclusion of this present age. But I believe there are still a lot of things to come to pass here on this planet before the thousand year uh, rain will begin. And I want to speak to you today on the subject of the Antichrist and what role he will play. I know that there's a lot of people who are very fearful today, but they need not to be, for the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to his children through the Apostle Paul and said that you, those that look for my appearing, to them will he return the second time without sin unto salvation. And and he also promised us that he will keep us from the hour of temptation that shall come to try this whole world. And that is found in Revelation chapter 3 verse 10. So before you get too upset of what I'll be telling you what will happen here today, uh, what will happen here on this planet, search your heart whether you really know the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I believe before these terrible things will come to pass and take place, he will take us out like he did Lot, like he did Noah when the, the flood came. So I want you to listen today because I believe if we would spend our time concerning with what will happen here on this earth and try and warn our loved ones, then people would turn and get to know the Lord Jesus because the church have, has almost come into a time when she is asleep. They seem to be caught up in their own silly little doctrines. They're one against another and that is not good because the time is short. Jesus is about to come back for us and here we are bickering with one another over different doctrines. We should get ready to meet this blessed Jesus who is about to split the sky and come back for us. And before we get into this message today, we will ask the Lord to bless us. Heavenly Father, we come before you in Jesus' name. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you will bless us today. You will bless this message. You will help me, O oh God, to bring it out in simple fashion of what you have written. Father, for we know we cannot understand everything. But there are some things that are that, that where you leave no room for doubt. That the terrible Antichrist will come upon the stain. And and will dominate the Western nations. And we thank you, O oh precious Father, for your revelation. We ask you to bless this message today. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. The prophet Daniel was praying and interceding for his people who were captives of the Chaldeans. He had read in the writings of Jeremiah that the captivity would last for 70 years and he was now asking and interceding and, and praying to God to let him know when the time will come when his people would be revealed. And then the angel of the Lord came to him not with the message of when Israel would be re, uh, re set free from the Chaldeans, but what will happen to Israel and to the rest of the world in the latter times. And it says in Daniel chapter 10, verse 14, Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people, in the latter days. Very interesting situation here. Daniel is asking, is, is being told what will happen in the latter days. And when you read the scriptures, the message that the angel brought is so important that even the devil himself tried to stop the angel from coming to Daniel so that Michael, the archangel, had to come and help him get through the enemy lines in heaven, somewhere in the heavenlies where they fight. Fight so that he could get through. It took him 21 days 
to come and bring this message to Daniel. Very interesting situation. And then when we study these things, we start to realize how important they are. I want everybody to know out there that we the human race are the focus point of all the heavenlies. All heaven and all hell is focused on us human beings and we better take it to heart that we are very important creation. The devil is out for us and the Lord God is out for us but there is only one thing. We are the ones that make the choice on whether we will belong to Satan or whether we will belong to God. And then in Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 it says that there's going to be a terrible time of suffering. That there has never been any suffering like that since this planet had a nation. But then he said to Daniel, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run through and fro, and knowledge shall increase. So he is saying to Daniel, Those words will not be understood till the time of the end, when knowledge shall be increased. And we all know that knowledge has increased dramatically. What we invent today through computer is obsolete tomorrow. What a university professor knew 30 or 40 years ago, a 10-year-old kid can find out through computer within a matter of days what what a university professor had to spend years and years of studying. This is how knowledge has increased. And the Antichrist will come upon the scene with that knowledge and will be able to tap into that computer system and will rule the entire western world. We know that in the end times when the fight is at Jerusalem that the kings of the east come down to fight the Antichrist and this is why we know that he will be ruling the western world only. Those who claim that they have freedom of speech or they have freedom because everybody else is under a dictatorship. And how will the Antichrist control the Western nation? He will become the, the king of all the gold and the silver. He will dominate it and they will give it unto him. He will be ruling with a rod of iron. He will break in pieces everything that comes against him. He will be the only rule that people will, be, will have during that time of tribulation. And those who do not accept his mark. We were talking about the business people last, last week on how business will be affected. He will be making business to prosper. The business world will shine. But before anybody will be able to get any piece of the action, they will have to sign a contract. And that contract will be signed in their forehead or in their right hand. And that number of the contract will be 666. And we all know what that means. We've all come to an understanding that anybody who receives the mark of the beast will go to the lake of fire. He will go and be condemned with Satan himself. And I want to read you a few scriptures here that will prove it. It says, If any man worships the beast in his image and receives his mark in his forehead or in his hand, that same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, and they shall be torment with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest day nor night. Those who worship the beast and his image. So here we see the facts. Those who will turn to the Antichrist 
will receive the mark of the beast, which is 666, and then their doom is set. They will be doomed. They have no more chance for repentance. Oh, I know a lot of people are scheming on how to take the number, maybe by some other way, so that they will be able to fool the Antichrist. You will not get past him, for he will have all the computer system hooked up to himself. He will know exactly how and what and where people are operating and doing. So there is not going to be any escape. We know that the, that the technology of the Western world has come to the point where they can monitor every step that you take or every uh, breath that you breathe. So I want you to look today God is not mocked. If you are going to worship the God of materialism, you will have to pay some way or somehow. So make sure today you know where you stand when it comes to this idol called materialism because the Antichrist will have it under his control. And the only way that you will have any piece of it is will be to sign that contract with him. And what will happen to those who do not sign that contract, they will be neither able to buy nor sell. And those who turn to Jesus, those who accept Jesus as their Savior, they will be killed. There's going to be an open season on those who call upon the name of the Lord. They will be killed mercilessly and without question. Anybody will be able to take advantage of them regardless in what situation situation therein. I remember I was once shopping in a place called Sam's Club down in the States and while I was shopping there was very good prices that time and I was thinking only this little card that I have gives me the right to buy these things and walk out of here and then it brought to my mind during the tribulation that there are going to be people who are going to be walking around with lots of food and stuff but they will not be able to buy or they will not be able to sell because they will not have that mark of the beast. So where do you stand today? Because we know that these terrible things will come upon this place. Remember the year 2000 when the computer was supposed to crash. We know that there was a lot of churches, a lot of pastors who were recommending that their people, hard things, toilet paper, water, meat, canned goods. They had their, some people had their basements piled high with food and, and, and products. But here is a place where you will not be able to do it because they will find you out. You cannot hide enough food for seven years and there is no way that you will be able to escape the Antichrist. You will not be able to make an agreement with him because he will have absolutely no regard for anybody. If you do not fall in line with him, if you do not take the mark of the beast, you will be exterminated either through starvation or through being killed. So where do you stand today? You remember the time, the year 2000, how everybody was so anxious. They were filling up their fuel tanks. They were buying drums of gasoline. They were buying thousands and thousands of gallons of water and storing them someplace. What will happen when this terrible antichrist will come upon the scene. Well, the Bible teaches there is one thing to do. You do not start to hoard food supplies like they did in the year 2000. You do not try and find a place for hiding here on this planet. You do not start to seek out a way on how you can beat the 666 system. There is only one way to escape it. The Bible teaches when you see these things begin to come to pass, then lift up your head, 
for your redemption draweth nigh. Turn to Jesus today. He is willing that none shall perish. If you read uh, Revelations chapter 3 verse 10 it says, Because you have to kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from the hour of temptation that shall come upon this earth and try all the people. Where do you stand with Jesus? Turn to him. You can escape that horrifying time by being put into the ark of safety just like Noah, by t being taken out of Sodom and Gomorrah just like Lot. Jesus said, he will come when these things begin to come to pass and take us out of here. And we shall meet the Lord in the air and there shall we ever be with the Lord. So turn to him by faith today. Accept him into your heart and you will not be disappointed. When you look upon the world scene today, we are definitely realizing and seeing that the terrible things that Jesus predicted are happening when we watch the world politicians trying to come to an agreement it seems like whatever effort they put in is being smashed to pieces by somebody else who is against them when you watch the American politics and what is happening down there, it seems like that Satan and God are fighting right out in the open for everybody to see. When the President of the United States makes a public speech and the three major TV networks do not even carry it, we know that we are coming to an end. There is definitely a terrible force of iniquity that is coming out into the open. And the other day it was on the news that in California a couple of kids opened up a club for Satan in school and the teachers are defending them saying it is their constitutional right to explore the church of Satan and to have an alternative worship and where at the same time they are outlawing prayer, reading of the Bible and putting up the Ten Commandments in school. We know that the biggest superpower is heading down the world of destruction. And what is happening to the church world? It's like in the days of Lot. It says that Lot was vexing his soul daily against the iniquity that, is, that was abounding. And the word vex means it is disgusted and the, he was disgusted and distressed in his soul of what is happening. And that is what is happening to the Christians today. They are trying to keep away from TV or radio. They are taking their children out of school to teach them at home so their children will not be influenced by the damnable heresies that are being taught in the school. We are definitely now approaching the time of when Jesus said that he will come back. And I want to read to you a scripture out of Luke chapter 22. It says, so likewise, when you see these things come to pass, know you that the kingdom of God is at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. We are the generation that is seeing those horrible things. And we are the generation that will not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. And I want to read to you, a scripture out of Luke 21, it's 36, uh, 36, it says, Watch you therefore, and pray always, that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. So the Lord God is talking to his children to watch and pray, that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these terrible things that are going to come to pass. And I believe we are now at the point 
point where God is going to sweep the Christian community by the power of His Holy Spirit. There is going to be a Shekinah glory that is going to sweep the Christian world. And those who are looking for Him, those who are looking up and, and waiting for Him, they are the ones that are going to hear His voice and their soul and spirit will be rejuvenated. There's going to be an excitement that we are going to see that will shortly come to pass. And we are the generation that will see Jesus coming back to take His bride out of this terrible place of iniquity. So I'm saying to you today, are you waiting for God? Are you or are you digging deeper and deeper into this world system? Jesus said, Watch you therefore and pray that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things. So lift up your head. Jesus is about to blow that trumpet call. And when that trumpet call will sound, those that hear him will be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye and then we will go to be with Jesus so I'm asking you today where do you stand are you waiting for him call upon his name while he will hear you so call him and he will take you in and until next time the lord richly bless you and make you a blessing to those who are around you amen